Hello YouTube, today I'm showing you how to use the program DIG. DIG is similar to NS Lookup. you can query name servers. Um, the syntax is very easy, just use DIG and then uh, the machine you're looking for, something like www.google.com, let's just do that, google.com, enter, and then you get a mouthful of uh, answer here and um, the nice thing is on dig you can uh, make your query more precise so let's say we're just looking for the a records for the www.google.com um, in order to do that you just enter dig then www.google.com and then the A record. And then, voila, we're getting the same answer again. It's still a lot, and we want to make it shorter. In order to make it shorter, you have to enter the same thing again, and then we have to tell them basically, we have to add um, a function to it, and tell them basically, we don't want to see all. And then we add another one, and tell them we, what we want to see the answer we requested. Okay, hit enter and then voila, there is our result of the query we just sent to the name server. Um, very easy, very clear. Um, all right, and then that was the air record. And if you want to see the uh, mail exchanger for that domain, we can use again dig and then google.com. And then in caps MX and then we add again our additional filters answer and there we go for that domain we have uh, one two three four mail exchangers uh, it appears to be that this is a load balancing pool because we have uh, four mail servers with the same metric of 10 so that will uh, basically point to a pool of mail servers. All right, then um, next thing is we want to see what the name server of that um, domain is like the authority. Uh, let's enter dig google.com and then ns for name server and then all filters. Enter, and here we get the list of four authorized name servers for that domain. And then um, we also can look for a uh, text entry, text annotation on that uh, name server uh, for that domain. Let's see if we have something in here. Dig google.com txt and then enter and then yeah we see uh, text uh, annotations are often used for SPF now, if you have a mail server that uh, requires this um, SPF then it will look for this text and then it's right there and if you st still want to see everything but a little bit uh, more clear then we can enter dig google.com and then we type any and then again our filters answer and it looks way clear here and then compared to the first time we used dig then we got a lot you know the the question that gonna uh, uh, ask and then the answer uh, who is the authority and so on and it was a lot of information but Half of that stuff we don't need to know because usually we know what we're looking for. Like in this case, you know, if we look for the text, it's right there. If we look for the mail servers, are right here. Or name servers, is right here. And you probably ask yourself another question, but what if I want to query a different name server and don't want to change my workstation to query a different name server? It's easy too. So you can use. Um, 
dig and then we use the add and then we'll just grab one of those Google name servers Come, and then let's look for dot 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 google dot com and hit enter and there's the answer to that question as well you know we create not from our local domain name server we create from google's name server and yeah i hope you enjoyed that uh, short tutorial about dig and um, if you like it please subscribe to my youtube channel or to my blog i will post that right there uh, to the description to that video and i'm really really interested in what you guys like to to uh, know about you know, especially on Linux and I make a little video or write a little tutorial on my blog so